All right, it's Phil here and uh, Radical Ronnie. Hello. Back again. Got another topic for the Radical Rundown. Uh, someone wrote in, Ronnie, and asked, does um, finger grips uh, encourage squeezing? Um, normally, I would say yes in most instances. Yeah. Um, but then you, you know, watch a guy like Chris Barnes who can barely take his fingers out of his ball if he doesn't throw it. Right. He's got to take his fingers out like this because he's so locked in his ball. So he's not squeezing. No, he's just locked in. He's just locked in. Right. So that just tells me right. that he has no grip pressure there. But um, I actually use lady grips for a little bit of that fat because um, I don't like the, the thickness of the walls being a little soft. So okay. I use lady grips are a little thinner. A little thinner. And uh, just gives me a little better feel on the ball. But I also, I used to not, back in college, I used to uh, not sand my fingers at all. With regular holes. Right. And um, I would have to say my rev rate was actually a little lower, so I think your rev rate goes up a little bit with grips. I mean, that's what I think. So you didn't bevel? I didn't bevel at all. Didn't touch them. Yeah. That's so, um, yeah, I, I would say overall, I don't think it necessarily encourages right squeezing, but I mean, because yeah. I think every bowler to an extent squeezes a little bit. A little bit. bit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Unless it's just, for you that doesn't bevel your thumb. No, I don't bevel my thumb, so <laughs> you can't be grabbing at that, can you? Um, yeah. It's interesting that, that you say, you know, what encourages it. Most times the people grab at it because the fit may not be right. It's true. You know, if that ball doesn't fit you and you feel like you're losing it on a downswing, your mm -hmm. tendency is going to be to grab at it or squeeze. Mm -hmm. So if you're uh, interested in to figure out why you grab at it, go get your grip checked. Uh, it could be a pitch change is all it could be. Mm -hmm. It may not be a span issue. Um, you know, and, and then and then you'll be able to determine what the maybe what the reason is. But yeah. I'm not sure grips is the is encouraging you. To, uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think it's more yeah. comfort thing. Comfort thing, right? Yeah. yeah, you have to be able to feel pretty good, um, so that there's no oozing on the thumb when you're right. starting to go at the bottom of the swing. It's not coming out too soon or not. Yeah, and and yeah. like you know, my hands change a lot over the years. Uh, it's gotten a lot more meatier the older I get, and I got a big right. big spans, five inches. Right, that's huge. And um, but like I use a quarter forward. Yeah, okay. You know, I, I've tried everything from a half reverse to a quarter right. forward. And quarter right. forward is where I'm at now. So, so as a shop guy as well, mm -hmm. um, when your customer comes in and, and says that, that I, you know, I feel like I'm losing the ball or whatever, what, do you normally just start checking pitches? I always check pitches and spans. Uh, I, I, like, I like relaxed grips yeah. on, on customers, most right. of them, unless they ask for a little stretched. But uh, most of the time, relaxed grips. A lot of people I check is zero, zero, reverse, and um, three eighths side to side on, yeah. on fingers per right. se, and I'm like, that's just not right for everybody. You no, get, it's not. You get right. an older man with uh, um, a little arthritis, or whatever. You're gonna need yeah. to lay the fingers away and shorten up span a touch. Yeah, le less flexibility. Yeah. yeah. So, and yeah. Walter, I know Walter Ray a while ago uh, laid his fingers away and shortened his span up because he was having problems with his, with his hand and stuff. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the key is um, pro shop visit. Yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Pro shop visit. Don't uh, don't go in there with any preconceived notions. And you know what? The, the pro shop guy is the expert. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be walking in there telling him what you think you need. Let him tell you. But I will say, if you want to hit it harder, use the lift part of the grip. Because <laughs> <laughs> I tried it and I just I don't know. Yeah, I hit it way too hard. I feel like I'm gonna throw it to the ceiling. Yeah, tip of the week. Use the lift part of the grip. Use the lift part of the grip. <laughs> <laughs> That's today's radical rundown. We'll talk to you soon.